Somebody spent some money on some rap. Dude, I had to pay $2,000 more. Why? I was literally just sitting in the office and I was like telling the lady like, I'm not leaving until we figure this out. You dare. They're gonna hit it last Don't second. you dare. So. Woo! We got a little issue. We made it all the way over here to Atlanta and they're not accepting the cashier's check. That'd be crazy buying a Hellcat with a debit card. Good at all. Like a bunch of just like claw marks from a cat. <laughs> Guys, the time is running out and there's only one day left of this Raptor R giveaway along with $30,000 cash. And we're gonna do something super special for this final day. We're gonna do the highest multiplier we have done this giveaway, which is 40X entries. So that's gonna increase your chances of possibly taking that sucker home like crazy. So don't miss out on this opportunity of a lifetime. Check out GoonSquad.com. Check out all the official rules, copy some gear, and you might be the one. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage, and today we are adding a brand new build to the fleet. It's actually playing on the auction, so we don't know 100% for sure, but I got a good feeling about this one, and we really want it. And there's a bunch of good things about this build. So as you guys can tell, I'm standing by a Dodge Charger right here, the cop car, and we're buying another Dodge Charger. But you know what? This one is definitely a Hellcat. It's wide body, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy, but it's perfect for what we wanna do. I think we wanna do the same package that we did to the Track Hawk, but do it to a Hellcat. Something that we've always wanted to do. I think it's gonna be absolutely insane. And this thing is a clean title. So whenever we see clean titles, it's it definitely makes us want it even more because you know when we're done having our fun with it, building it and everything, we could always turn around and sell it and flip it a lot faster than some of these cars that we have here that are salvage titles. That's one of those things that holds us back from selling some stuff and being able to move on to other builds is the fact that we gotta send off paperwork. But anyways, guys, I guess, uh, oh, another good thing, it is in Atlanta as well, so it's not too far. Hopefully we could bid on it, win it, and pick it up on the same, same day. That'd be absolutely insane. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead, pull up the auction, and get to bidding. All right, guys, I am just super excited. Auction is playing, we're about five minutes away right now. I'll show you guys a little picture of it. It's got a sick wrap on it, but I think underneath the wrap, it's the same color as this Trackhawk right here, which this maroon color is actually pretty rare. Imagine just having these two side by side or one haul in the other. That would be absolutely, that's just like dreams right there. That'd be wild right there. So hopefully we can get it. It's a pure sale, so there's no negotiating with the auction. So as soon as we like get the highest bid, they have to let it go. And hopefully we could actually schedule in an appointment today. It's another thing you gotta do nowadays is schedule in an appointment, appointment, appointment with the auction. So uh, hopefully everything goes smooth. It is time guys. Here it is. Nobody's bidding. Let's go ahead and get the party started. Let's go. Imagine, imagine for 28,000, that would be the, oh, come on, dude. We're winning it right now for 31,500. This is a lot. Oh, you think so? 32. Miles. Not many miles, not many miles. What do you say? Hit it. Boom. Somebody really wants it. Not as bad as we want it though. You know what I mean? Somebody really wants it. Let's go. Don't hit it. Don't you dare. They're gonna hit it last Don't second. you dare. So. Woo! <laughs> hey, that's pretty sick. Now we gotta see if they'll give it to us today. Gotta call them. Let's call them up. Let's try to schedule it. Let's try to hit the road, hook up the trailer, grab the straps, put a trailer to this maybe. Dude, that'd be epic. Oh yeah. We've had it. Maybe in the future. Alright guys, we got a little issue. We made it all the way over here to Atlanta and they're not accepting the cashier's check. First time I've ever run into this. For some reason, it's got to say the dealer's name on the cashier's check. Don't know. That's We've never had to do that ever. So that's what I got. I think I might have to go to the bank right quick and get this redone to see if I can have the dealer that we use name on there. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm going to give it a shot. But. Um, I'm making. I'm gonna make a couple phone calls to see if we can figure this out with the dealer. And worst case, you know, we'll we'll try again at the at the bank. But hopefully, hopefully we can figure something out soon. Because as of right now, they're not accepting this check right here. Wait, 
an, an actual debit card will work? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, like an actual debit card. I think will work. <laughs> That'd be crazy buying a Hellcat with a debit card. I mean, if your debit card or credit card or whatever allows that much, you know. I mean, it's got a pretty high spending limit, so I think it might work, dude. That'd be crazy. All right, I'm going to probably jump inside, try one yeah, more time. But we're, we're not leaving until we get this thing. This is just so unfortunate. I guess their policy just recently changed where they're not accepting cashier's checks unless it's actually from the dealer. It's got to have the name. But you can do wire transfers all day long, so it kind of doesn't make sense. But he said something inside. The, guy, the manager was saying something about how people are, like, flipping titles. I don't even know what that means, but some people are somehow flipping titles just doing illegal shady stuff but anyways let me hop inside one more time Woo, let's go dude i had to do freaking paypal can you believe it but it worked man i literally thought we were gonna have to go all the way back home and do a wire transfer or do a wire transfer here i'm gonna ask this guy i'm kind of surprised honestly how they operate here literally they didn't even tell me what to do next i was like so do i give this paper to the to the driver or to the loader there she was like I don't know you know what I mean it's like so I just now try to flag him down and he, it's it's interesting how they operate here at Cove Park but you know what it's all good I'm happy, man. I'm so happy everything worked out. Let's see the color. Dude, I think that's that Trackhawk color right there. Whoa, it's got the light up SRT. Let's freaking go. I don't know if we're gonna keep this wrap, but we'll talk about that stuff later. Look at that wide body, dude. That's freaking sick. We just need to strap this thing up and get back home as fast as possible because Atlanta has crazy traffic. Let's go ahead and get her strapped real nice and tight and just hit the road. I thought she was filthy. I mean, she's dirty, but it's not jacked up. That ain't good at all. That was bad strapping. Dang, we gotta figure something out. I think I'm gonna have to strap it to that side and try to move the whole thing over. They didn't even make it on the road and this thing's already going sideways. <laughs> it's gotta be at least a thousand horsepower. All right, you guys, lesson learned. Basically grab tools with you, even if you think it's not that badly wrecked, but also don't take off around corners. I got a little too excited and I was just trying to like gun it back home. Some cars coming and it basically just slid to the side and we got it over as best as we possibly could. Me and David here used four righteous straps on one point, tightened it up as tight as possible and moved enough to where this wheel well right here is not rubbing up against that tire which it looked like it was starting to make some smoke and it almost caused it to you know ruin that tire but we're good now let's head home and ease it this time That thing is looking sick right there, dude. Can't wait to get it home. But guys, we're back on the road. We ran into some pretty crazy stuff today. First off with the payment stuff. 
second off with you know it almost coming off the trailer back there and now third I just found out we don't have trailer brakes and that thing's actually pretty heavy you can really feel it back there and especially with this Atlanta traffic it is not helping but you know what we're just gonna ease it back home and hopefully take it off the trailer and you know what start working on this thing at least get it cleaned up and see what's going on with it We are finally back after a treacherous journey. We literally about lost this thing. How? We were turning. As soon as we got out of Copart, we were turning and there was a car coming and I was just trying to pull off and the whole back end slid off of the trailer How? that way. And we had no way to get it over. So we ended up untrapping it, strapped up to that wheel. We used that four straps to crank it. Wait, how did it slide that way? I just really took off. And it, like, I don't know though, I think, one of the straps was faulty. I mean, yeah, it could slide. As you can see how these straps are, they could slide it, that or this way. Oh, so it doesn't matter how tight you get it. Dude, but this thing oh, is a man. beast, dude. Look at this wrap, man. Dude, it, looks it looks so sick. That like, looks crazy. Dude, it looks so sick in the sun, sunlight and everything. Look at this exact color of the track hot. Oh, dude. Look at this. That might be sick. Dang, it's a big old sign. I bet that thing lights up. You see the headlight? What is that? I think he did custom headlights, and I think it might be red when you turn it on. Oh, because when we were driving, the sun was hitting it, and it looked red or dude, something. Dude, that's going to be crazy. I mean, this thing is insane. Wide body looks crazy, but this wrap, dude, that's something else, it's man. It's such a sick wrap, but you know what? I don't think we're going to run this wrap. What do you think, dude? I mean, it's already kind of looking like a bad wrap, and this is probably a custom wrap because, you know, there's custom little decal, or no, that's on top of it, so it's definitely printed. But I don't know if we'll run this, honestly. <laughs> Dude, I guess uh, tomorrow I think we're going to probably get it off the trailer, start it up, give it a clean on the inside, the outside, and figure this thing out. This whole side came over this way, and it pinched this down, and it was started rubbing this tire, and that's how we found out Man, that it must, shifted. You must have went hard. I wasn't really going that fast, <laughs> but <laughs> I went pretty fast. That's wild. Somebody spent some money on some wrap. Dude, I had to pay $2,000 more. Why? for using PayPal. They, uh, I messaged dude, he said they don't use cashier's checks anymore. What the yeah. heck, dude, that sucked. I just knew that one way or the other we were gonna take it home. I was not gonna wait, I was not gonna go to the bank and figure it out. I was literally just sitting in the office and I was like telling the lady like, I'm not leaving until we figure this out. <laughs> and she was like telling me like, oh there's no. A, there's the most ruthless people dude, out there. Dude, they do not care. You know, they do not care about that you can't, that you traveled, you know, from afar. They don't care if you came from across the world. They That's what care. I'm saying. Dang, it's cold, man, back over here in town. So it is the next day, and of course we had to give this thing a quick wash, and this thing looks absolutely way better. I mean, this wrap, first of all, is just insane. Never seen it done before, but you know what? Fire on a Hellcat, you know, Hellcat themed, Hell themed. I guess that's the perfect wrap for this car, dude. This that, is insane. That is pretty cool right there. It definitely looks super cool. Looks much better with it just shined up. 
But you know what? It's probably an old wrap, to be honest. Yeah, super old. It's peeling everywhere. Every, I mean, the pressure washer even takes some of this wrap off. So we're going to have to unpeel this whole entire thing. I mean, heck, they didn't even have those yellow bumpers on here. See, that would have saved that right there. But Dude. you know what? The paint underneath this wrap is even better because look at that, man. Dang. It's the exact same color as our track cock, man. You know that's going to look sick, dude. Dude, look at all those metallic flakes in there, dude. That's why I love this color so much. And dude. in the sun, dude, with it unwrapped, it's going to look on way a, better than this. On a wide body, that's going to look insane next to the track cock. Dude. But you know what? Right now, we got to get this thing fired up and ready for some work because, I mean, this thing is hit. So I say we go ahead and try to get this thing off of the trailer, put it on the ground, put some power to this thing, and see if she'll fire up. So we finally got this thing down. No problems whatsoever. Looks way better on the ground. You know what? You get to see how well it's pretty much. I think it's stock ride height, but it sits pretty dang perfect right there, to be honest. But anyways, it's time to go into the inside of this thing and see what it looks like. From the auction listing, dude, it was filthy, but it is still filthy. <laughs> but look, look at this, dude. I think it's just all dust. I don't think there's no scratches, no scrapes. This is pretty much like a brand new interior in here, dude. What? What do we got here? Dude! Marcus steering wheel. Oh, it has a shift light in it. Whoa. That is sick, dude. That is epic. Full carbon. It feels good. It's got a little bit of damage up top. Might have to replace that for an AZA, to be honest with you. But for the most part, dude, the interior looks pretty dang clean. It just got to get rid of all this dust here. Dude, it looks like dang. a dang cat walked in it over here, dude. Oh my gosh, look how <laughs> dusty that is, dude. Hey, it's all That's leather crazy. though. That is sick. That is so awesome. There is one blown airbag right there. No sunroof, kind of sucks, but that's all good. Looks like a cat got to the headliner too, what? I think, dude. Somebody locked the cat in here. <laughs> Probably, but you know what? Once we're done with it, we're gonna have it just perfect. And I just noticed something else, dude. What? It's got an Alpine sound system in oh, here, dude. Oh, dude, that is sick, dude. Look, what it has like, this? wait, do they have custom speakers in here? Either that custom speakers or like a special light that shines a kitty on the floor. You know hey, what I mean? Hey, dude, that's crazy. We need to get some power to this thing whenever, um, I wanna see that light up front. Yeah, dude. we're about to put some power to this thing. I think it's gonna fire up and wait, I really- does it come with the red key? Oh, dude, that's the most important thing. Oh, Are no. you kidding me? That's black a, key, dude. What is that, only 500 horsepower with black key? I think so, dude. That sucks. I wonder if we can get one easily made, dude. Yeah, take this thing to a dealer. We need three red keys. Dude, one for me, 100%. me, and me. <laughs> and also the interior is super clean in the back there, dude. That's awesome. I can't wait to just get this thing nice and detailed, but I guess let's go ahead and put some juice to it. Let's see what's going on in this hood area right here. Is there dude. any custom work done in here, man? Dude, that'd be so amazing. I mean, they spent a lot of time on the outside, on the appearance, oh. but looks like it's bone stock, dude. Stock, and when you see a stock air box, big pulley right there, we need a little pulley on this thing, man. <laughs> exactly, dude. We're gonna take care of all that stuff, no worries, but let's see how it sounds when it fires up and hopefully it sounds healthy. Oh, man. Still a little bl blinking. Yeah. <laughs> you just gonna go straight for the no, fire I'm up? Gonna, I'm just gonna light it up, see what goes on. All right, light it oh, up. Everything works. Nice, nice. Go look at the headlights, see right. what they do. Let me see the headlights. I don't see nothing, they're off. Nice, nice. Whoa. Nothing, nothing crazy, it's just got like an A in there. That's pretty much it. For, I don't know, Anarchy or what'd you say, Captain America or something like that? Avengers. You know what I wanna check? I wanna check the, the trunk. trunk. How do you open the trunk? Let's see what's Let's going see. on. In Is there at least something cool in here? Oh, Dang. nothing. nothing. I thought there would be some speakers or something, but you got these. Those are trash right there. Yeah, we'll get some Hellcat ones. Anything underneath there? More trash. Bunch nothing. of nonsense. Got some candy. Wow. Bro, you got some Ethica boxers. What, <laughs> bro? Take those home. <laughs> Exhaust, man, that sucks. That's, Dang, that was that, a weak fire up. That dude. ain't a kitty right there, man. That's a that's a mouse. Steering wheel. Check out the steering wheel over here, dude. It sounds so healthy, dude. Look at this. 
Dude. We got we got an engine light on, so maybe we need to check some fluids and stuff like that. But dude, this thing runs good. I mean, that's actually a good thing that it's stock, stock exhaust, stock intake and everything, because that means it wasn't, you know, like destroyed, you know? Alrighty guys, so we went ahead and jumped into the interior and gave it a pretty deep clean and it just looks way better. I mean, look at this dash. That sucker looks brand spanking new. Everything else looks pretty much new as well. There's nothing crazy as far as like scratches in the leather or anything like that. There was just a bunch of paw prints from a cat, which I think you did say that you think there was maybe mice in here and somebody just left a cat in here to catch the mice. Dude, Tom I and seen, Jerry. Yeah, I <laughs> seen some wrappers that kind of got like tore up and they look kind of like, look at you that, see dude. all the little pieces. And what? I was like, dude, they probably threw a cat in here just to exterminate him. That's pretty wild right there. But you know what? I don't see any other like crazy scratches other than some crazy stuff going on with the headliner and also the door panels. We thought this right here, look, it looks like a bunch of just like claw marks from a cat, but that's actually star liner or whatever you call it. The, the little fiber star optic lights, lights, dude. Star lights. There's star lights in the headliner and also in the door panel as well, which I've never seen that before. That's whack. That is just horrible <laughs> right there. They just ruined the door panel, oh, dude. Oh my goodness. And like, you can actually feel them and they feel like super sharp, which not good. I don't know if we'll keep that unless we can find some new door panels or something like that, but we haven't got the headliner to work. Yep, we gotta figure, I think there might be like a special like main box somewhere that we gotta locate, but I think we'll leave the headliner stars or the star lights in the headliner right there. But other than that, dude, I'm super happy with pretty much how it cleaned up. And also with this damage right here, it's not too bad. We could easily fix that. And we're gonna try to break a record on this build right here. We're gonna try to fix it as fast as we possibly can, dude. 24 hours, what do you think, dude? Hey, if we can get all our parts in as soon as possible, get this thing on the frame machine, anything is possible, dude, man. We're gonna try to get this sucker just completely restored before you know it, but you guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Drop all your comments and thoughts down below. Also, don't forget, today is the last day to get entered for the Raptor R giveaway along with $30,000 cash. But with all that being said, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.